G'day guys, Troy from FM Scout. Today we're going to continue on going more in depth, looking at some more obscure roles in Football Manager. Um, and today we have the Rem Deuter. Links will be in the description below for the whole series. Uh, we've done a fair few of the obscure roles. Go there, go down there, check it out. We've got, I think, one more to go. We've got the Trek Resistor to go. Um, if there's any other roles that you think I should do, uh, just let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'll have a look into it. And then uh, we might bring it up on the channel. But before we kick it off, as always, just like to invite you all over to my personal channel, FM Life. Uh, go over there, check it out. If you see what you like, um, hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's have a look at the description for the role. So the Rumzoid translates from German, uh, meaning space investigator. His main role is to find pockets of space in which to operate. Essentially a wide poacher, uh, the Rumzoid takes up a seeming, seemingly harmless position out wide, waiting for the opportune moment to burst through the defensive line uh, for the telling shots or cross. He's difficult for defenders to pick up, as he will often drift from his assigned position, looking for any opportunity to exploit. This can, however, result in a quiet period for the Rimdoida, and uh, he may neglect his defensive duties. Therefore, adequate cover and a strong team shape are key in order to fully utilize his attacking prowess in the final third. And of course, the Rimdoida is only available with an attack duty. Okay, so let's move over to the important attributes for the role Ram Deuter. Um, we'll first cover the technical attributes, which is not too many there. There's finishing and first touch. He is that wide poacher, so you do need quite high in finishing. Over to the mental attributes that are needed. There's a fair few there, and it seems as though they're quite important because they're all in blue. Uh, so let's go through them. So anticipation, composure, concentration, decisions, determination, off the ball, and work rate. And then on to physicals, he will need uh, acceleration, balance, and stamina. Uh, for the attributes, or all the core attributes that's needed, um, he's the space investigator. He, he's going to be looking for space, and he moves in and out. He moves back and forth. He will sit on the defensive line, so he, he's going to look to break uh, break free and beat the offside trap. So that's why he needs that acceleration. He needs to be quick off the mask, mark. He is running all day to try and find that space, so that's why he needs his stamina. Over to the mental attributes and the, that the composure he needs, because he's going to be getting on... Uh, um, he's going to be going one on one with the keeper quite a bit, so he does need that composure. Anticipation, you want to beat that offside, offside trap. Uh, that with decisions and off the ball, that's going to come in handy. Work rate, he will need to work all day. Um, he is running a fair bit. He runs a fair bit more um, than the inside forward, which we'll compare him to in the in the gameplay that I'll show you in a second. Okay, now we're having a look at the play instructions for the Rim Zoyza, and uh, we'll start off with when the opposition has the ball, and that is the stock standard. Pretty much, um, he's on sometimes. As always, that's going to change depending on what you're doing for your team instructions. Uh, when the team has the ball, what he's going to do, he's going to get further forward. He's going to sit narrow. So he will sit uh, a little bit narrower than the, than the right back, but he has got roam from position and move into channel. So if there's an opportunity to go out wide, if that's where the space is, uh, he will do that. Now, having a look at when the player has the ball, he's been given the freedom uh, to do as he see fit. Um, he doesn't cross too often, though, so he's got on uh, cross less often. But he he can't cut inside with the ball. He doesn't run wide with the ball. He's just that's why that determine uh, determination. Sorry, not determination. That's why that decision attribute is so important because he's got to know what's going to be the best outcome uh, when he has the ball and where to go. Um, so cut inside is off. Run wide with the ball is off. He doesn't cross. We know that. Uh, and dribbling, shooting, and passing risk. Um, there's nothing ticks so you can play around with that uh, as you see fit okay now my suggestions for the role and what i think um you can put on to to give you a little bit more su success with the role um look he he's one of those players he's got to be a smart player that decisive player we know that um i would leave dribbling if he feels that he can dribble and take on the man uh, i'll just leave it it's a, look depending on what his dribbling attribute and his kind of pace is um uh, but i would leave that um shooting i would put on shoot more often he's going to get in that opposite um that in the 18 yard box more often than not and he's going to have a clear line of sight so i'll leave that uh for shoot more often i want him to score more goals uh for passes i'll just leave that i want him to he's look he's a space investigator i want him to find that space and shoot it in the back of the net and, and that's pretty much it i won't ask him to hold off the ball um this you can kind of leave you might want to put it up on more because in the defensive line he doesn't really contribute uh to defense too much so maybe you know um closing down a little bit more um so we can win the ball back further up on the pitch and he can do a little bit more in defense. 
Okay, having a look at the tactic and what he does in defense and attack, it's um, it's really it's it's a bit hard to explain because he has been given that freedom to move move around where he sees fit. In defense, he does not do a thing. Uh, he'll just stay up high up on the pitch, ready to receive the ball uh, in open space, mind you. So if you are setting up instructions, you might want to clear the ball to the right flank because uh, you can bet that the rim dodge is going to be there um, to meet the ball. If he's a bit stronger, that's a, probably a good shout. Um, other than that, in attack, yeah, he's been given that license he'll go wherever you want uh, unlike the inside forward which you find will kind of have a one straight line and he'll always go to that um, and then in defense he'll just, just drop back where the fullback is um, if you're playing with the room Deuter on this side I'll probably set up my tactic wrong to be honest um, especially for this role uh, what I would have is a little bit more cover, so I'd probably switch the roles over so the deep line playmaker will come over here on defend so he can mop up a little bit more because Mikataran's just not going to get back. Um, and then also in your fullback roles, you might want to, if you've got that on attack or wing back, um, you might want to drop that back a little bit if you're worried about your defense. Uh, if you're a good side like uh, Man United and you know you're going to boss the league pretty much, you can pretty much you can set this up as a wing back uh, because he's going to complement um, the Rem Deuter quite well because he's going to get out on the outside and that's going to be a little bit more space that they're, they're going to burn boozle uh, the right back and the center back in those roles okay the first highlight i'll show you so what we're concentrating on is number 18 mikataran but you can also have a look at uh, number 11 martial and see what kind of runs they make um as you can see, he's out there wide. So he's pegged out wide. He sees a little bit of space there, and he's creating a, little, a lot of space in between the fullback and the center back. Uh, when it pushes forward, you can see Fusu Mensa gets the ball, and it pushes in the matter. Then Mikatarian makes that run for that space in the middle there. Um, doesn't get past the number 16, but he cuts back inside to receive the ball. And then um, what he does here, he just dribbles front. So he, he has an opportunity, if he can, uh, to dribble in the middle there, and he can find Martial there out on the right. Um, not a goal, but still, that's the highlight that shows kind of the spaces he will occupy. So he cut, he stands out wide, and then he makes that beeline. So that's why you need that acceleration. He just not fast enough, Mkhitaryan, but that's why you need that um, acceleration to get into those spaces as quickly as you can, especially when you see that opportunity come up. Okay, second attacking highlight will show. So Martial picks up the ball in our in our half. We're on the counter attack, and you'll see what Mkhitaryan does. Instead of cut inside, which you will expect like an inside forward to do, as Martial's just about to do in a second on his dribble, um, he he doesn't. He he stays out wide because he can get on the outside of these two guys. So if Martial picks up the pass. In between, you see this big gap in here, and then he's going to scoop in. That's why you need that acceleration and that composure, because that will come in handy when he scores this goal. Um, so yeah, good finishing as well. You're going to get those opportunities there. So that's why you need someone that can finish as well as um, as be that space investigator, as you know that pace and that, that decision making. You need someone that can finish uh, because once you get into oppositions like that, uh, sorry, oppositions. Once you get into opportunities like that, uh, you want to you want to put the ball in the back of the net. Okay, next highlight is a defensive highlight, and I wasn't going to bring you a defensive highlight for um, the the role, but uh, I think you need to watch this because that's why you need to have um, adequate cover. Uh, I probably didn't recognize that number 15, the winger, was actually coming inside a fair bit uh, to receive the ball. Um, must be something to do with his role, maybe as a wide midfielder, maybe a wide playmaker, uh, but anyway, so you can see Damian has come from his, his way out of position, uh, but anyway, Mikatar in here, the number 18 is marking up the number 16, which is the left back, and as you can see, he looks to be doing quite a good job but as the ball comes through he the number 16 makes a run and he's just not prepared for it and actually moves forward um it goes over all the way out to the left wing um and then mikatari you think he's gonna be lying it back or maybe you know come inside mark the 24 but he doesn't he just stays out there and as you can see um yeah, they get a goal. So you've got to make sure you have that adequate cover in the middle there. So that's what I said before when we were having a look at the tactic. Um, making sure there's a there's a defensive player on his side um, of the of the midfield, the center center two pairing. If you if you're going to run with that, uh, and also your fullback, you're going to have to have a look at your fullback. Okay, the last highlight I'll show you is just to compare against uh, the inside forward. Uh, I've got the inside forward, it's uh, Lingard he's on at the moment. I've got him on a support, and remember, the rim George is only an attack. Um, but as you can see, as the ball pushes forward, Lingard is just going to play this role. So he's going to move up and down, just in the exact same position. Um, look, if uh, if it opens up somehow, beautiful, you'll get in there. Uh, but Mikataran, as you can see, if you can watch both of them, uh, we've, we've all got two eyes, maybe. I don't know, you're going to have to turn your head. Uh, Mikataran will move. 
um, in and out, you'll move up and down uh, just to find that space. But as you can see, Lingard, he gets forward, it doesn't quite eventuate. So he, and then he'll just track back. And then once again, he'll look to play the same line he did. Um, but if we have a look at Mkhitaryan, when he, when he doesn't have to move, he'll just stay in that space, in that pocket. Um, and then he'll rush in and then he'll come back out on the wing. You can see there he was trying to push forward. Lingard was just running up and down, up and down. So he's just running that same line and it's the exact same line. So if you fast forward, you can see it's going to come in the same line. So if you go all the way back, you can see he kind of follows that exact same line. Um, even back into here, I didn't show you the highlight. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the main difference between the inside forward and the rim deuter. I think it's probably a role uh, that is it's very common, the inside forward. Um, it's nothing like the winger because it's, it's not the winger's just going to bomb it up the wing. Um, so that's that's probably the closest role, that in maybe the AP. But the AP is a kind of different role, uh, especially out wide. You don't see that all too often as well, out wide. Um, but there, there it is. So for today, I'm not going to bring you a player in focus to just have a look at and say, look, this is the, the best rim toyster in a game. Uh, what I want you guys to do in the comments is, uh, yeah, leave the comment. Who do you think or who have you had success with being a rim toyster? Um Remember those mentals. That's what we're looking out for. And Mkhitaryan, look, he's a, he's a decent rim toyster. and it says he can play fairly well in that position. But some of his mentals let him down, and that's, um, that's a downside to him. Finishing not the best at 13 as well, but that composure, yeah, com that, that doubled up composure and finish really does to move up if he's going to make a very good uh, Rem Deutzer. But as I said, leave the comments uh, down below what you think or who you think uh, is the best Rem Deutzer in the game. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, just remember to go over to fmscout.com. Um, I just went there not too long ago, and there's a fair few um, more downloadable content there. Um, so yeah, go, the, go over there, check it out. Um, I'm sure there's something there that you might want to pick up. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.